guys and welcome to a bit of a different video because today I am testing Gizmo's poop. Now the reason I'm going to be testing it is because recently when she's pooped it looks like a completely normal healthy poop. When you pick it up green stuff come off of it like bright green. So the only thing really Gizmo has done is she hasn't eaten in two months and then recently she's at Waxworm Pupa um, so I don't know if that's going to have changed her poop. Um, but we shall see. We're going to be testing it and I've decided to go with Pals. Someone recommended me them on Instagram. So of course I could take her to the vet like I did with Isla all those years ago. I took her to the vet. The vet cost about £30-£35. They did a test for me which they charged me over £100 I think. Uh, the test they did on here, on the actual price thing, is probably either the £17 one or the £30. And that's one thing that bugs me a little bit about vets is they will inflate the prices like crazy. But anyway, with this site what you have to do is email them, say what animals you're testing and how many you need. So I said one leopard gecko, they sent me out a poo test and a submission form. You can actually print these out yourself on the internet. Um, one downside I will say about the service is if I had any questions about this and I emailed them, nobody replied. When I requested the test, I didn't get any email back that they had got my email or they were sending anything else. So I've kind of been sat here twiddling my fingers. I can't remember how many days I had to wait for this to arrive. I'll put the number here. I don't think it was too long. It's just when you don't know if they've seen your email and you don't know if anything's coming, it feels like ages. So obviously first impressions isn't fantastic but they did send me this so I will be filling this out and trying to figure out which test I want to do, which test will be best for Gizmo, but first we need to collect the poop. <laughs> Okay, so it's just gone one in the morning and Gizmo has gone to the toilet. Now I need to collect this poop over three days. Usually she'll go, she'll miss a day and then she'll go again. As you can see, it's actually quite small for her and doesn't look great. But what we're going to do is collect it and they don't want the pee bit. So we're not going to put in the white bit. The consistency of this poop is really like goopy. It's quite strange actually. Right, stick that in there. And by the way, if you didn't know, you need to store it in a cool area. So not the fridge or the freezer, just a cool area. They say to boil some water, let it cool down and drip it on the poop just a little bit if you think it's drying out over the three days. Um, but we shall see, so I'm gonna keep this somewhere safe. <laughs> Right, I had to restart the last test, just basically I didn't think she was going to the loo and so I didn't have enough in the three days but then I found that she had pooped twice but under her succulents somehow. So we restarted the test and she's literally just gone so I'm going to collect that. So today should be the last day that I collect poop. I've collected two so far. I won't say they're the best examples because they seemed a bit dry but nevertheless um, I'm going to choose the test now though. I think I'm going to go with the reptile feces too. Um, partly because that does like bacterial, fungal and parasites. It is one of the expensive ones on here. But I figured if we're going to do a test, let's just cover everything. So now I'm just going to fill in the rest of Gizmo's details. <laughs> Okay, so today is Tuesday the 30th of April. I need to take this up and put a label on it and everything, but it's going today. I managed to only get two samples and I did have to add a tiny bit of water to make sure they're still fresh. Um, but yeah, we'll see how long it takes for it to arrive and get the results. <laughs> Hi guys, so we are back with some results. One thing I will say is Gizmo shed during the night, so she does have stuck shed on her front feet. Don't worry, I will take that off. It's just she needs a bath and I want to do this quick. So um, I'll sort out her feet after this. So one thing I want to say is what you just saw is you saw me send the sample off on the 30th of April. Now today's the 4th of May and I just received the results. According to the papers, they received the sample on the 2nd of May. 
Now, if I had one thing to complain about, <laughs> about the service, is the only thing is communication. Now, they don't say they're gonna send you an email to say they received your sample, but even if it was just a generic one to say, right, we've received your sample, we're processing it now, that would be great, because I was honestly sat here thinking, you know, have they received it? Has someone else got poop in the mail? Like, hopefully they've got it. <laughs> so, luckily they did, but I do feel like, I don't know how big the company is, it may just be small, but even if they just sent out a little generic message to be like, we've received your sample, it's now processing or something, that would be perfect. Now the particular test I chose can take 48 hours usually to process, but in some cases it can take 72, but it seems like mine one just took 48, so that's really handy. But now for the results. Sorry if Gizmo moves or goes out of focus, I am reading down here. I printed this out because you do get your results through by email. So the first one, now if you're a microbiologist, you probably understand this, feel free to elaborate because some of these I'm a little bit confused by, but basically it says, culture growth consistent, aerobic cultures show a heavy mixed with normal fecal flora. Now I don't know if the sentences are messed up or that makes sense but it says a normal fecal flora <laughs> so I think that's good then we have salmonella as negative very good and if you didn't know with these tests if there is something detected that's bad it will come back positive if it isn't detected it'll be negative so we're looking for the negatives then we had campylobacter campylobacter that's how you say it negative which is another good one, yeasts, negative, but it does have this little sign that says plus Aspergillus niger isolated, which I totally butchered the name, but I believe it's black mold, but then it says isolated, so I'm thinking, did a bit of mold just grow on the poop when it was going there? I don't know. Once again, if you know this, please let me know. Then it says direct, no over cyst or parasite seen, Concentrate, no over, cyst or parasite seen. Cryptosporidium, negative. And cryptosporidium is stick tail. Now it also says sensitivities not indicated and it comes back as a normal fecal result. So that's really good news, definitely. Like Gizmo doesn't have anything wrong with her, but it also does make you think, why on earth was her poop coming out green? Now I do have my theories. So first of all, I did think maybe she reabsorbed her eggs and it's like a byproduct because the yolk and everything in the eggs, maybe it just comes out like a green and her poop was a little bit, um, like when the first sample I collected it was kind of sticky. Also, if it would have just been left and dried, I don't think you would have even noticed there was green on it because I'm going to show you a picture and I wasn't going to show it but then I realised this video has so much poop in so by now like I really hope you aren't eating but basically the poop looks normal but then it's got like a dark green kind of slime looking colour around it so I feel like if that would have dried it would have looked like a normal poop and you wouldn't have even picked it up so now I'm thinking like when females reabsorb their eggs is there a byproduct is that what the green is I mean she doesn't have a fungal infection, a bacterial infection, parasites, she's eating, she's shedding, um, she is our little mystery. So I would love to throw the question to you guys and I feel like when we discuss this in a comment section we actually usually find out a lot of us have been through the same thing. When we're talking about females not eating so many people came and said oh my god I thought it was just my female. So what I wanted to ask is have you ever experienced this? Maybe if a male has had this, then it's not an egg related thing. Or maybe you have noticed this when your females have reabsorbed their eggs. I really don't know. But yeah, if you are in the UK, you're thinking of using this, then I would say if you wanna just do your regular checkups, maybe every year you wanna just do a quick poop test on your reptiles, it would be ideal, it would be far cheaper than going to the vets. I feel like if it's a real emergency situation, your animal's going downhill fast, take them to the vets. With Gizmo, it's a bit of a weird one because she was acting normal, she was finally eating. Um, her poop was weird before she was eating. It wasn't the like waxworm pupas or anything that made her poop go weird. Um, but it wasn't like an emergency situation because she was very much herself. It was just her poop that was weird. So I do, I would say the service is really good and not too expensive. I will just say the communication was a little bit iffy.
anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Sorry for the sheer amount of poop that was in it. Um, but thank you for watching, guys, and goodbye. <laughs>